I think the first time I really got to soak in the view was in the cupola on the station. And, and to just sit there and, and think, you know, the, the colors jump at you, uh, the perspective jumps at you and challenges you in, in multiple ways. I think it, it evokes, you know, all these different sensations. The largest emotion that I'd feel out of it is I felt this connection. All of humanity's here on this globe. You realize just how special the place we are is, and you feel that connection. And, and when you see the impacts that we can have on the land, it gave me this overwhelming sense of stewardship and, and just wanting to, to try to you know, come back and take care of the planet a little bit better than I had before and, and help convey the message that you know, we're on this place together. And you know, we explore space together, but we also live here on Earth together and need to work together to make sure the Earth stays as pristine as it can be. During my third EVA out there, I can remember we were working on the front of the, the space station. And so I finished up that task, and then to catch my breath, I just kind of propped myself up on the front of the station looking forward, and it's just the Earth arced out in front of us, slowly gliding by, and you, I felt like you know I was just riding the station through space. You know, it's stuff you think about, you know, you see in the movies, but it's this overwhelming experience of I can't believe I'm here doing this and that's going below me, at the, you know, that I get to see this. So I can distinctly remember waking up one morning, couldn't sleep for whatever reason. It's like four in the morning. I was like, hey, we're in a night pass. I'm gonna go down to the cupola. I'm gonna drink my coffee and, and just stare at the stars. And there's just so many. And the longer you stare, the more you see. You, know, you start with the, just the big bright ones until your eyes start to adjust to the dark and then they open up a little more. And when your eyes open up a little more, you see all these smaller little stars. And then once they open up enough, then you can start to see all of this cloudy structure and you realize that the depth of, of what's out there, I can only see the tip of the iceberg. Uh, so it definitely puts you in your place in terms of, you know, how big am I? How big are we collectively as humanity sitting here on Earth? Being able to look at the Earth from that vantage point and simultaneously see myself as part of something so small in the great cosmos, but also part of something so large as the Earth that's below me, made me realize at a deeper level that you know, I may be one small individual that's part of humanity here on the ground, but I can still have an impact. And I can have a large impact, but still be something very small. That balance of perspective has given me a sense of empowerment that I hope that everybody could share in, in terms of you can make a difference. The earth is an amazing place. It is unique. When you look out into the depths of space, you realize just the vast ocean of darkness and we're on this little island and we're on it together. And we need to figure out how to work together for the benefit of everybody.